Hi viewers, today I am going to make a simple mutton fry which is very easy and quick. Let us see the ingredients for it. Mutton 300 grams, 1 onion chopped, 2 green chillies, ginger garlic paste, 1.5 tablespoon and then 1 teaspoon uh, chili powder and 3 4 teaspoon garam masala a pinch of turmeric powder and that is my masala onion and tomato puree 1 and a half teaspoon and also see 1 and a half teaspoon of uh, pepper powder and also half a spoon of cumin powder these are the things which I require for making this simple mutton fry which will be very tasty with dal and also sambar today I have made the vengaya sambar so I think this will be very tasty today if I make it like that this is my mother-in-law's recipe and this onion is optional if you want you can have it otherwise you can avoid it added all the masalas to it now I will mix keep it in the fridge and then six whistles I will give then I will cool it down then fry in the pan by adding one tablespoon of oil till the oil till the water absorbed I will keep it when it is dry then it is ready to eat I have added salt and also one spoon of oil to it keeping it in the cooker and close it and cook for six whistles. The mutton is cooked in the cooker. Now I am going to see that this water is absorbed fully then it becomes dry. For that I am adding one tablespoon of oil. Fuel I have added the green chilies also and now the water is slowly absorbed. The water is slowly absorbed and we will wait for say 5 minutes then the full water will be evaporated and absorbed and then partly will be evaporated partly will be absorbed we say. The water should be reduced and it should be a suka mutton. So it's called a suka kadai mutton. So it will be very tasty with sambar and also rasam and also a drumstick dal. I hope you will like it. Subscribe it. Share it. Comment upon it. And then you will enjoy it with your lunch or paratha. Thank you. Coriander leaves for optional and we can serve it now. Now the suka handi goat is ready. It will be very tasty with sambar or dal, any dal and hard fried. Please taste it as iftari recipe or for sahar you can make in Ramzan and please Remember me in your duas and prayers. Thank you so much.